video is for the mole, mole, mole worksheet that we started yesterday in class. Okay, yesterday we had written uh, this equation right here, so uh, I'll write it again. So uh, it's when you take coke, which is carbon, plus sulfur dioxide, SO2, and it's going to make carbon disulfide plus carbon monoxide. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do on all the problems in this unit is to balance the equation. So you'll want to make sure it's balanced. So there's a two there. See, that gives me four oxygens. That gives me four plus one. That gives me five carbons. And if, you, if it helps you, you could put a one here. All right? All right, so anyway, we already did B in class yesterday and maybe C. So if not C, I can't remember. It kind of depends upon the period. If I didn't do letter C, uh, I want, I'm uh, just do that one. But I'm going to go down to letter D and do that one. Okay, how many moles of carbon monoxide form at the same time 0.762 moles of carbon disulfide form? So... You write down what the problem gives you, 0.762 moles carbon disulfide. You draw the picket fence. It's really important to write the unit and the chemical that it goes with, all right, because that tells you what to do next. Okay, so in this unit, you're always going to do kind of like possibly three things. Number one, change to moles. But if it's already in moles, you don't have to change it to it. Step two, mole ratio from the balanced equation. So you get the mole ratio. That's what I'm going to do next, okay, in the balanced equation. So here we go. So we have one mole, CS2. Where did I get the one at? Okay, it's from the balanced equation. Okay, now what are we trying to look for? How many moles of carbon monoxide? So I look up here, and it's 4 moles CO. And then I would take 0.762 times 4 divided by 1. That This has 3 sig figs. So I end up getting 3.05 moles carbon monoxide. All right, now... I'm going to help you get the equations for these other, the uh, number two and three, because they are kind of tricky. So here we go. Heating an ore of antimony, which is SB2S3, in the presence of iron, that's Fe, gives the element antimony. This is a single replacement re equation. Antimony. And iron 2, which is Fe2 positive, sulfide, which is 2 negative, so it's just FES. Okay, so you'll want to balance that. So looks like we need two antimonies, so I'll try a 2 there. Looks like we need three sulfur, so I'll put a 3 here. That gives me three irons here. And that's balanced. I want to put a 1 there. Okay, now this one says, how many moles of ore? Okay, now the ore is this stuff right here, SB2S3. So how many moles of ore are needed to react with an excess amount of iron? Okay, so we don't have to worry about the iron because it's excess to produce 9.4 moles antimony. So we write now 9.4 moles antimony is SB, that's an element. All right, and so you write it down just like that. Okay, so if we have moles here, we have to have moles here, okay? And so we're going to get it from the balanced equation. We're going to use the mole ratio from the balanced equation. So we got moles SB, so we'll go 2 moles SB, okay? Because see, the, we, we, we're starting off in moles, mole ratio. So what are we trying to go to? How many moles of ore? So that's the SB2S3. One mole SB2S3. 
And then you can do the math. And it ends up being 4.7 moles SB2 S3. Okay, I think you can finish C and D there, hopefully. All right, now I'm going to help you start this one, uh, this equation, but you can do B and C. Okay, so aluminum oxide is formed from the reaction of aluminum. So we take aluminum plus oxygen. It's supposed to be oxygen gas, so it would be O2. And then you would get aluminum oxide, which is Al3 positive. That's supposed to be a 3. And oxygen 2 negative, so it's Al2O3. I'll let you figure out how to balance that one. Okay, so what you need to do is complete this worksheet and then check your work using the answer key on the stoichiometry Google Classroom. That's it for that video.